Hi everybody, here's another water comparison video. Tonight we're comparing these two bottles of water. First up is HK Humankind Spring Water. This is $2.78. Next up is Sweet Arrow Spring Water. This is a small bottle, but it's only 49 cents. So, what both these waters have in common is they're both from the same store. They're both from Tom's convenience store in Mitheltown, PA. Um, I went on a trip, a bus trip to Philadelphia from Pittsburgh a couple weeks ago, and one of the rest stops on the way there was at Tom's convenience store. So they had these two waters. And I've never tried either one before, so this is going to be my first time trying both of them in this video. Um, the sweet water, spring water, is in this small container. An interesting thing about this water is they have a website on the back. They say go to sweetarrow.com and when you go to that address it forwards you to crystalsprings.com and the page just doesn't load. <laughs> so th their web presence for this water is not very good. There's like there's no Facebook page, there's no like social media stuff for this water. Um, just it's just non-existent. And this bottle is BPA free, which is good. There's not really much else to say about this water. And then the Humankind water is like a charity water. This is very similar to Ethos water where they donate uh, some of the profits to helping charity. With Ethos water from Starbucks, they give five cents per bottle. With this humankind spring water, they say they give 100% of the net profits to helping creating wells and just helping bring clean water to different um, people in need around the world. So they say 100% of the net profits. That's what they say. And so it's kind of unclear what that really means because the net profits means after their operating costs. So after the cost of the bottle and the water, and shipping it to stores and marketing and um, just all the costs associated with making the bottles and then I'm, I'm a skeptical person like with charities it's possible that the main guy in charge of this is making millions of dollars and that's just his paycheck and then the profits would be after that guy gets paid I don't really know um, I'm just skeptical of charities in general. It's possible that um, nobody's making a lot of money off this water and all the wa all the money is really going to helping people. But it, it's just something I'm skeptical of personally. But I don't really know. Uh, I actually emailed this company and asked them to have the ratio of what percentage goes to helping people and which percentage goes to uh, operating the business. And they haven't replied yet. But I, I only emailed them a couple hours ago. So... This company also has flavored versions of the water. This is just the plain still water, which I actually prefer. But they also have some flavored versions. Uh, let's just open these up and start doing the comparison. The Charity Water, Humankind Water, has the small lid. This Sweet Arrow has a small lid, but I think it's a little bit bigger. Yeah, but it's still smaller than the full size one. The Sweet Arrow is just such a generic kind of water, like... I could easily see it just saying Deer Park or something like that. And it's just such a generic label, like there's nothing that interesting about it. Yeah, the water tastes perfectly fine. No bad aftertastes. Tastes like, you know, pretty good water. And it's actually, this is a much better value. This is 49 cents compared to almost $3 for the, this is bigger, but it's many times the cost. Yeah, it's just pretty much standard, standard water. It's like not salty. Um, a cool thing about this being a spring water is there's no 
nutritional information on the bottle. I think they're not required to put nutritional information on it if they don't alter it in any way. So I'm guessing this is directly from just the spring, just straight into the bottle. So let's try the Humankind HK water. Yeah, just nothing really special about it. It's just average typical water. <laughs> um, you know, in some, of my, in some of my reviews, they do taste different, but these two just taste like pretty standard waters. Tastes very similar to the Ethos water, actually. I actually really like their, their logo. I did not notice it at first, but the H and the K have a bottle in the middle of them. I thought that was actually a pretty cool logo design. And another thing to point out about this bottle is they have a double-sided label, so you can see, like, I guess kids in need of water on the other side of it. But you don't see it on this side. Yeah, not much else to say about it. The main guy in charge of this company is... TJ Folds, and he seems to be the main guy in charge. Um, he's like a Christian, I guess, and um, I think he started off going on mission trips like around the world to give uh, water to, to people in need, and then after he did, after he was doing that on uh, mission trips, he turned it into the company after he saw the need for um, people needing the water so much. The HK company, Humankind, Bottled Water Company, a couple years ago they had a contest that they, the uh, Walmart had a contest that they entered and there were over 4,000 people entering this contest and the Humankind company actually won and so their prize from Walmart was having their water in 200 Walmart stores so there are none near me that sell this water I've never seen this in a Walmart store but there's 200 Walmarts I think they're mostly around Philadelphia and around Maryland and New York just like on the far east coast of uh, the United States and there's some stores in Florida that sell this water too they say it's pH balanced and this water is from Lafayette Springs in Wisconsin. Yeah, they, they're really... They taste about the same. So, I'm just going to say that the winner is the humankind water mainly just because they're helping out people with um, the money they get like like I was saying I don't know how much they give to helping people maybe maybe it's 90% goes to giving water to people in need maybe it's 1% only goes to the helping people in need but either way even if it's just 1% it's still more than this bottle so I think it's cool that they do that. So this is the winner. Let's move it on to round two. If they respond to my email and uh, give me more information about their taxes and their operating costs and stuff, I'll uh, let you know about that in round two. So you can look forward to that. So thanks for watching, everyone.